The following video covers how to load materials properly on the LEF-12 UV printer. The first thing we need to do is open the front cover to secure our media to the table. The table has a boundary line which indicates the printable area of the unit which is 12 inches by 11 inches. When placing your material down ensure that the printable area of your material is within the 12 by 11 space. To secure your media you can use tape or the supplied AS10. Now we can take our material and secure it to the table. When dealing with materials that are thicker than 10 millimeters or has an unevenness of 2 millimeters or more, a jigger fixture or the supplied sponges should be used. We're going to go ahead and use one of the supplied sponges. The sponge is used to reduce light reflection from the UV lamp as well as reducing misting from the UV inks. The LEF-12 includes six black sponges that can be placed on the table and the object placed on it to reduce the amount of reflected UV light. When setting up the material, you'd want to use jigs or fixtures on either side of the material to reduce the amount of light reflection. Once the material is secure, we'll go ahead and press the setup button. During the setup process, we will set the table height as well as our printable area. To set up the table height, we go ahead and press the table up button. At this point, the table will move up to its last known position. At this point, we will use the table down button to lower the table so it's just under the media gap sensor. The gap between the media sensor and the material should be roughly one millimeter or less. This will make detection much easier. We will then move the table forward using the up arrow key to move our material just under the media gap sensor. Once we have the table adjusted to just under the media gap sensor, we will press the right arrow key. The display will show auto detection. Then we will go ahead and press enter to begin the process. During the auto detection process, the table will move in, out, and then up, then in, out, up. It will continue doing this process until the material touches off on the media gap sensor as you see here. When it touches off, the machine will automatically lower the table until there is a clearance of one millimeter from the surface of the material and now we're ready to set up our printable area. At this point the display will read print position type. The machine allows you to set up two print positions, 
two-point registration, which is lower right, or center registration. We will select lower right and press the Enter key. At this point, we will begin the two-point registration. First, we will set the lower right, then the upper left. To set the lower right, we will press the left arrow key to bring the carriage out. Once we press the left arrow key, the carriage will move out. The laser pointer, which is located on the right-hand side of the carriage, will turn on. And using the left, right, up, and down arrow keys on the control panel, we want to position the laser pointer to the lower right corner of our printable area. This could be within the substrate or the outer edges of the substrate. Once we have the position set, we will press the Enter key. The carriage will move back to the capped position. At this point, we will press the left arrow key, and the print head will now move to the upper left corner. Again, using the laser pointer and the up and down left and right arrow keys, we want to position the laser to the upper left corner of our material. Once we have it set, we'll press Enter. And now we're ready to output our data via Roland VersaWorks. Once the material is secured on the table, we want to go ahead and press the Setup button. We then want to press the Table Up arrow key to move the table up and use the arrow keys on the control panel to move the table into the unit, making sure that the material is positioned just under the media gap sensor. At this point, we will press the table down arrow key, then we'll press the up arrow key to move the table forward right up until the material is underneath the media gap sensor. Using the table up key, we want to bring the material as close as possible to the media gap sensor without actually touching the sensor. Once we have it as close as possible, we will then press the Enter key. The machine at this point will do a verification scan. This means the table will drop down, move back, come up, and move forward just under the sensor to ensure that the material does clear the media gap sensor. If the media touches the sensor, a check table height error will show up and you can adjust the table down and press enter to run the check once again. And now we're ready to set up our printable area. At this point the display will read print position type and lower right. We can set the machine up for lower right registration which is two point or we could press the left arrow key and select center position registration. We're going to go with lower right and press the enter key. To set up our two point registration we will press the left arrow key to move the carriage out to set our lower right hand position using the laser pointer. Once we press the left arrow key, the carriage will move out. 
the laser pointer, which is located on the right-hand side of the carriage, will turn on. And using the left, right, up, and down arrow keys on the control panel, we want to position the laser pointer to the lower right corner of our printable area. This could be within the substrate or the outer edges of the substrate. Once we have the position set, we will press the Enter key. The carriage will move back to the capped position. At this point, we will press the left arrow key, and the print head will now move to the upper left corner. Again, using the laser pointer and the up and down left and right arrow keys, we want to position the laser to the upper left corner of our material. Once we have it set, we'll press Enter. And now we're ready to output our data via Roland VersaWorks. When dealing with materials that are odd shaped like an oval or curved surface, center point registration will allow us to set our printable area within a specific area. Prior to setting the table height, measure and mark off the center position. Once the material height has been set automatically or manually, the display will read print position type. Previously, we did lower right and did two-point registration. We're going to press the left arrow key and select center registration and press the enter key. At this point, to move the carriage out to set our center point registration, we will press the left arrow key. The laser pointer, which again is located on the right side of the carriage, will turn on. And using the arrow keys on our control panel, we want to move the laser pointer to our marked off position. Once we find the position, we will press the Enter key to set that value as our center point registration. Using the left and right arrow keys, we would set the width of our item, and using the up and down, we set the length of our item. Once we have it set, we'll go ahead and press the Enter key, and now we're ready to output our file using Roland VersaWorks. For additional training and support videos, please visit www.rolanddga.com.